Alright, we're going to do a quick little video. I just uh, finished up the, the video about um, creating random sentences and uh, we we decided to exclude, or I decided to exclude, doing an opt-out for the user. So, uh, odds are people are, some people are going to want some sort of opt-out option for, for a program. Um, so I came back, I'm going to do this real quick and, uh, we'll just throw in a quick option just to give you an idea of what, uh, what's going to need to happen here. So, uh, obviously up here, you see, we got our, when prompted to enter a one to generate a new sentence. Well, what if they don't want to, what if they want to just, uh, end and go home after that? So let's give them a second option of entering two right that's uh, typically my default anyway is one to go two to stop brakes gas etc um so how about we just say or enter two to stop the program how does that sound that sounds pretty good and then we'll just uh balance this out i guess as much as we can um, and uh, I'll put a little asterisk in there to make it match up and look pretty, etc., etc. Space, quotes, and semi. There we go. Or under two to stop the program. Now, that's going to be that's our greeting message there when it pops up. Whenever they start the program that's going to pop up instead of repeating this uh, throughout the program con constantly repeating this it's up at the top and and they they uh, it's I guess it's just up to them to to remember one or two it's a pretty pretty simple process to remember that so now we come down here we want to add a checker we want to check um, and uh, um, to make sure that the user has entered one or two and we don't want them to enter three four five we don't want them to enter zero uh and, and things like that so um we're gonna go ahead and add a a do while option in here i, I keep forgetting that 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 cursor is blue so i'm trying to keep it out of the way and, and so it's not distracting i can't see the blue myself so in case you guys didn't know <laughs> All right, so we're going to add a do while. Um, well, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to add some nested uh, loops in here to check for uh, valid inputs if it's a one or a two. Uh, it's currently right now it's doing it's doing all of this while new sentence uh, while this variable is equal to one and uh, to to check to see if we should keep running it, we ask them within the loop if they want to keep going, uh, which changes the variable of new sentence. So what we're going to do is add a, a another loop around uh, the input, the user input, um, to determine whether or not they have actually entered uh, what we want them to enter. Um, so we're going to go up here first and go to the first user input um, try to keep your space when you're when you're editing like this it's kind of hard to keep your spacing um, so you may need to go through at the end and edit the spacing uh, uh, to make it easier to read um, I would I would definitely recommend doing that um, so now we want to do we, we want we want to do this after because we don't want to keep repeating let's have fun we do want to repeat the generate a new sentence. Um, so we're going to do all of this. Oops, how my caps lock get on there. Do all of this. And uh, we're going to close it off down here with the while. And then we're going to add in a few sequences here. So now, now not sequences, we're going to add a, a, a stipulations here. Um, since we do not want a new sentence to be less than one, 
uh, a value of one is, is, is deemed acceptable because uh, that means they want to continue. So while new sentence is, uh, while one is greater than new sentence, which would have to give new sentence a value of zero, uh, essentially, and, um, or while uh, new sentence is um, greater than two, which is our other option. So it's one and two, which that short range. If they enter a three, four, five, now we just added uh, a stipulation onto that. So now, and again, we could adjust the space in here to, to, make, to make this look better. But for now, it's going to keep asking, would you like to generate a sentence uh, and, and, and take that sentence in as long as they have not entered a one or a two. As soon as they enter a one or a two, it'll, buy, it'll, it'll allow them past here and into this loop down here. And now we also ask them again here, so we're going to have to add it in down here as well. Um, and that is going to be right there. After the variables taken in, and it's it's going to be the same stipulation because we haven't changed the requirements at all. Come on, get out of my way. There we go. And there we go. So that essentially now it's going to keep cycling through here again after uh, you go through here for your initial. And then you, you start your loop here. If you want to keep going, you keep going. But if you don't enter a one or a two, it's going to ask you again, hey, what uh, do you want to do? A one, do you want to keep going or do you want to stop? Um, and then if you enter a two, uh, it's, it's going to come out and it's not going to want to, it's not going to let you. Um, actually, we need to, we probably should also add in an if statement here. Um, because at that point, if we don't add in an if here for uh, it being one, um, and then we got to close this off uh, after the while. So we need to close it off there. Now, if we don't add in this here, Entering one or two up here will also take you into this. Now, if they want to end it up here, um, they need to bypass this whole deal and go straight to the end of the program, uh, straight to our return zero. And if, uh, but if they entered one to, to do this, then that'll take them into this loop. And uh, we should do the same um, down here. Right. Uh, let's see what happens here. So, I could generate a new sentence. No, I don't want to. And there, that ended the program. There we go. So we play it again, and uh, say we enter a three. It's, it's, it's not going to take in these inputs until I give it what it wants. It wants a one or a two. There you go. Um, now, if I say go, Eric runs with knives. He's just a terrible human being. Um, would you like a new sentence? Now, if I do it here, it's just going to keep asking again. I'm going to see I can take that space out to make it jumble up a little better and, and not take up the full screen. Um, and uh, if I enter one, it gives me a new sentence. If I enter two, it takes me out of here. So, there we go. That gives the user an end option for the program. I hope that helped you out. If you had any have any questions, uh, just send me a message, and I'll do what I can to answer them. Thanks for watching.